Hope you guys are doing great. Today is the day. We're gonna give this a shot. <laughs> Me and Madre coming out. We're gonna try to go do some Costco shopping. It's been about two months since we've gone into a store. Costco is mandating you have to wear a mask to be able to get in. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna go as fast as we possibly can and I'll take you around, show you what's inside, whatever, what it's looking like here in Fairbanks, Alaska. Let's go. Mom, you're in a store. How do you feel? Are you so excited? So, <laughs> so the really cool thing that I actually really like is that they're kind of making it so you, everyone has to wear a mask, which is kind of going to alleviate, I think, a lot of issues that people might be facing. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs>
is a this is quite the experience. I'm actually sweating. I'm actually perspiring right now because it's getting busier. Uh, we came pretty much right when it first opened to try to avoid crowds. And it's starting to get busier, but we are done. Um, I tried to do the best I could when I'm walking around here, but uh, I might have missed a couple things, but I'll fill you in. I'll let you guys know a total when I get back home. Feels good to get out into a store, I'm not gonna lie, but I felt pretty safe. Like there's, everyone's in a mask, everyone's keeping their distance. Employees are wiping down everything, carts, scraping the floors, everything. So let's go check out and then we'll head on back home. I feel like I've run at least a half a marathon. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm tired and I'm hot. It's just like, yeah, it was a lot. Holy guacamole. But I felt very good in there. I didn't feel like not safe. Everybody I saw had a mask on. Everyone was keeping their distance. They had little places like for checkout where you, you'd stand on the different lines. The line went super fast. I like checked out three or four times because I decided to get some strawberry plants. I got my mother-in-law one for Mother's Day. This goes up after Mother's Day. So I picked her up one. And then the kiddos, I think they'll get a kick out of that and just having it on the, on our porch out in the front. We gotta go get mom's stuff. We gotta wipe it all down. Yeah, it's just beginning. We gotta go wipe it all down. We thought it was gonna take us, what, 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes in there and two hours later. Yeah, it took I think we us needed a lot more longer. Stuff, more stuff than what we thought. Yeah. We haven't been in a hot minute. We haven't been in a really long time. Stocked up. Uh, they had toilet paper. Yep, we saw that. It, yep. We did not need toilet paper, but they had a plethora of it. They did have the limitations on the meat, where you could only get three packages of meat, not three chicken, like three chicken, three hamburger, three pork. It was you could only get three different types, so one chicken, one meat, one hamburger, one pork, if that's what you wanted. So yep. that I thought was kind of interesting. I know you cannot return water, you cannot return rice, you cannot return Lysol or, Lysol Clorox. or Clorox. They had none of those available. You had a lot of rice. They had big containers of rice. Oh, did they? I didn't they did, yeah, like yeah. the 50-pound bag. It's pretty impressed. The, the shelves were very well stocked. Really, I couldn't find... Fruit cups. fruit cups like that are not in cans. I couldn't find yogurt, like gogurt kind. And I think those were the only two items. Well, yeah, I think we got everything. Everything was pretty good. I was pretty impressed. So um, I will give you guys a total when we get home and offload all of our findings. Woo! You'll get it done. So I made it home, here she is. Oh my goodness, guys, if you remember back when I did the Instacart haul, me and my mom were just discussing it, I'll link to that video here. I did not get nearly this much food and it cost me just about the same. So if you ever use Instacart, at least for our area, it is very, very expensive. We figured about $200 in fees and, and then the markup on it. So just keep that in mind, but it is. Gracious heavenly. So basically we went in as fast as we possibly could. You saw that we were wearing all of our protection. I'm actually, I haven't touched anything else here. I'm gonna go drop these clothes, jump in the shower, do all the things. We already pulled all of my mom's stuff, so that's good to go. Um, so the grand total, all the things comes to $767.73. Wow. Wowzers. It's about what I paid last time for when we went to Costco when I did the Instacart. This is a ginormous haul for us. This is huge. With Instacart, being as it was very expensive, it was, um, it was a very nice thing to have at the time because we did not want to go into a store at that time. So it was a, we were very, very grateful for it, even though we had to pay quite a bit of money for it. It was, it was the luxury of not being able to, not having to go into the store is why we paid it and we were very grateful for it. But it was exciting to be able to go into a store. I was excited to be able to like walk around and see other people and 
It was very much social distancing. People did not get close to one another. It was, uh, it was good. So this, like I said, this is a ginormous haul for us. Forget they did set limitations on meats. So I had a total of about 66 items, maybe a little bit more because some of them were on a different receipt. Um, like the strawberry plants. Look at these fun strawberry plants they had there. Um, so that was pretty cool. I got one of those for my mother-in-law. And taxes, no sales tax. And this is it. You can kind of see there's still some stuff that's kind of behind. A lot of snack foods. The kids really haven't had snack foods for a while now. Let me know in the comments below, how does this compare to your Costco where you guys are at? What are you paying for? Are you able to go into your Costco? Do you feel comfortable going to your Costco? Walking through too, there was little kids that had masks on. It was basically anybody that was older than two years old had to wear a mask. So anyway, thank you guys for coming along with me on this fun shopping extravaganza. Now we gotta go get it all put away. We've wiped everything down. This video a thumbs up if you enjoy these. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.